It started in 1975 when I come to uh, the garrison. The first time should only be here for one year and I'm still here. In the uh, 1st of April 1990 I begin to work for the Norwegian Border Commissioner uh, as a um, border inspector. I was responsible for um, um, education of the border soldiers about the border treaty officers as an as a advisor meeting with the R Russian. And I was retired 1st of April this year. Uh, I know I do some work for the border commissioner. I'm a member of a joint um, border commission. In the history we, <coughs> between Norway and Russia, there has never been some uh, problems and no wars, and we have lived together since the, since the beginning. And um, we have no secrets for each other, and um, we work um, very good together. The cooperation in the Barents region, uh, I think it has been very successful. And um, I don't like the situation at the moment, what uh, Norway uh, about the sanctions against uh, Russia. Um, <coughs> I think it's a big difference between North and North and South Norway because the people in this area region are thinking another way uh, that they are doing in Oslo, because the. The um, contact with the Russian people here between Finnmark and Murmansk Oblast is more normal. We, we have no, no, no problem after we have this situation in Ukraine. It's uh, some situation where uh, soldiers from the garrison do something together with the Russian border soldiers. And um, uh, it's uh, not allowed at the moment to join these activities. It's a football game we should have. and. Um, uh, leaders of the army in Norway say no at the moment. It ha has been a very 24 lucky years because I have <coughs> haven't never had some bad days on work because of my interest for the border and uh, I also has borders as my hobby so I like to look at another country's borders so uh, so I travel around in Eastern Europe and another some places to look at the border situations. Since the beginning of history, Norway and Russia have a good relationship and uh, it has been peaceful even in the Cold War. And I am wondering why countries like Armenia, an example Armenia and uh, Azerbaijan is not can live together. We can go up there. I think we have to begin to learn something about each other, about the people and how we live. And most of the first people who traveled here in, in this end of the 80s and beginning of the 90s, uh, it was uh, culture, uh, music and, and um, artists. Um, so after some years, more and more political people meet and uh, seen that it's the people in Soviet Russia are not danger.